Hey gang, Matt here, and today we're going to be opening another 2LP Metalhead box. Plus there's other stuff in here besides records, you might already know that, but I have no idea what's in here. But you know what? You and I are going to find out together. So let's do it. So the Metalhead box is a monthly subscription service where each month, obviously, uh, you get a box full of great metal stuff. It can be CDs, LPs, download cards, autographs, stickers, patches, all sorts of great stuff. And it runs the gamut through all the subgenres. You've got black metal, death metal, thrash metal, traditional heavy metal, you name it. Pick your genre. Good stuff. And it should be mentioned that what you get in this box is chosen by actual metal heads. It's not some company trying to be metal and failing miserably at it. These guys get it right. And you'll find that out each and every month when you get one of these. And I'm going to show you this box anyways. You'll see what I mean. All right, let's open this up. All right, let's see what we got. First up, uh, DVD, Murder in the Front Row. Great documentary. Uh, I've seen it once. Uh, haven't seen any of the extras, if there are any extras on here. Uh, looks like there's an audio commentary, which would be pretty cool to check out. Uh, this is a documentary primarily on the Bay Area thrash scene in the 1980s. Uh, there's a lot of Metallica and Exodus, but uh, Megadeth and Slayer on here too, which everyone's probably thinking, hey, those are LA bands, but they had quite a lot of ties to this scene. So they're important in the story to mention, and I see the way the director handled it. Um, I was wondering how he'd shoehorn those bands in, but he did a good job and kind of made his point. Uh, other bands on here, Anthrax, of course, who also had ties to that scene, even though they're a New York band. Uh, Death Angels in here, Possessed, and a whole lot of other bands. And I'm excited to hear the audio commentary for sure, and to watch the movie again. It's really a good doc. I shouldn't undersell it. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah. Pretty psyched to have this, and you probably will be too if you get it. And if memory serves me correct, they usually hide something inside the shirt. And look at that, there it is. Let's take it out. It's obviously a pin. And it is the Melissa Skull. Very cool. Uh, Merciful Fate's first full-length LP. Uh, I believe it came out in 1983, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of my favorite Merciful Fate albums next to Don't Break the Oath, which is probably my very favorite. But I'm psyched to have this pin. Uh, I think it might be by the same person who did a lot of the other tribute pins. Not sure, because I didn't get a little card that tells you typically. But yeah, very cool. This is definitely going on my battle vest, for sure. Oh, nice. Love it. All right, let's check out the t-shirt. And it is, ah, Mortiskull. Great design too. Uh, Mortiskull is a death metal band from Milwaukee. They've been around since the early 90s. Definitely old school death metal. Uh, somewhere between Morbid Angel and Entombed, I would say. Uh, Entombed for that sort of buzzsaw guitar sound, the early Stockholm scene, but also melodic like Morbid Angel in parts. Uh, the latest album is called Wounds Deeper Than Time. came out maybe three years ago. Um, I'm real familiar with their newer stuff, like that album, but haven't heard as much of their older stuff. Or it's been a while, I can't remember. But definitely interested in checking it out. Definitely have to wear that shirt. All right, let's get to the vinyl. First record up is Mongrel's Cross with Psalter of the Royal Dragon Court. This is uh, Black Thrash from Australia. And this is their second album, I believe, came out in 2018, put out by Hell's Headbangers, great record label and distro. In fact, I see another record from that label we're going to talk about next. Uh, let's check out the vinyl. Oh, there's also a, an insert. There's that. And it looks like lyrics and liner notes. And the vinyl is black. Classic black. Uh, nice custom labels, uh, both sides. And uh, this should be pretty interesting. Uh, there were 400 of these pressed. So, on black, that is. Uh, maybe there were other colors, not really sure. But this looks pretty good. Um, I like this stuff, so I'm definitely going to check it out for sure. The second record is by Apocalyptic Raids. Uh, interesting little Brazilian band. Uh, Brazilian extreme metal. They do a whole bunch of stuff. Death, thrash, black, traditional metal. Um... You might be able to tell from the title of the band and the artwork itself that there might be a little bit of Hellhammer and Celtic Frost worship going on here. In fact, 
quite a bit of it. This band's rather known for it. Even the layout here on the back cover is reminiscent of early uh, Celtic Frost albums. Uh, really good stuff. Uh, from Brazil, if I didn't mention that before. Uh, we'll show you the vinyl quickly. Um, it is in red vinyl. Uh, custom labels there. And the track listing there. Uh, I really love this band. They're kind of a fun band. Uh, I've heard other stuff from them. I haven't heard this record, but it should be a good time. I believe this came out in 2018 as well. Uh, like the other one, this is also Hell's Headbangers, as I mentioned before. And yeah, so here is the liner notes and the lyrics like that. And it looks like it folds out. Oh my God, no screen room. So there you go. Apocalyptic Raids. Looking forward to this one. That's called the Pentagram, by the way, in case I didn't mention that before. Yeah, good stuff. And for those who are familiar with Metalhead Boxes, often enough you get exclusive autograph cards. Uh, this one's obviously no exception. This one's from John Hom of Agaloc. Agaloc was a folk doom metal band. Uh, they broke about four years ago. But uh, pretty good stuff. The folk end seems to be influenced from a lot of the neo-folk bands. Uh, think Sol Invictus or Death in June, music like that. You can hear it for sure. In fact, I think they covered a Sol Invictus song, if I'm not mistaken. Check YouTube, let me know in the comments, because I think my memory's good on that. Uh, anyways, John went on to a black metal band later called Pelorian. I think they broke up last year, and now he's doing solo work. But yeah. Cool. I'm definitely going to add this to my collection. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. And that's it for the May 2020 Metalhead Box. Definitely check the link in the description below to get to their website. You can check out all the variants they have. They have more than just a 2LP box. They also have a cassette-only box. They've got a mini Metalhead Box for those thrifty Metalheads out there. And they also have a regular Metalhead Box, which has more of a mix of stuff. You should definitely check out all the boxes and definitely subscribe. Uh, great service. I love these guys to death. Also, let me know what you thought of this box in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, what are your favorite bands that I've mentioned? Uh, maybe you have more favorite albums from these bands that you'd like to mention. Uh, I'd love to hear it all. Definitely let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'd love it if you liked and shared this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. A uh, great way to find out about when I do more videos. I do more videos than just Metalhead box videos, by the way. I do metal vinyl collecting videos once or twice a week. Uh, I cover the gamut of vintage, but also modern metal bands. Definitely subscribe. You should. It's a good thing. And as always, take care and ever forward. <laughs>